right? Hey, it's Ron with Golden Gate International Film Festival. We got the directors for the movie Frames. Now, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. J.P. Charlevoix, director, producer. Mirai Lavoie, but just Mirai, and I'm a director, and art director. Now, this film got many nominations, and it was a great film. So, I will have to say that I appreciate how this film makes you uncomfortable to send a message. Was that your whole goal about making this? Yes, uh, actually that was a goal. Uh, I did listen to a lot of story that was really horrifying through the years. I did live some myself and I discovered that in life sometimes, well, the horror is not just like a guy that's running after a girl with a knife. It's, well, it could be that too, but like it's something that's real and that happened to a lot of people and sometimes we have to silence. So I wanted to shock people because I think if we don't do that, we will not talk about it. And that was a problem because most people, they, they just keep it quiet until they're drunk and they cry. Right, right. <laughs> right. Um, so you are the producer, right? Yeah, and co-director. Co-director. I remember um, one thing that I was expecting was like, I guess his demons. And yeah. you, get, you actually really had like a creature in there. Yeah. Um, what was your thought process like? I, I want to make this demon look like this. So uh, it's this creature comes from Mirai's subconscious. Oh, uh, it's a demon that is part of the main character's uh, subconscious, and we really want to graphically put it in the image because we felt it was like where it really connected with them, each other, and and, and where he found himself deeply inside. So all the dream sequences, all everything was to really go in depth into the subconscious of the character and, and to really feel about this psychopath that is a narcissistic mm. person. And, right. Uh, yeah, I think you know, you can maybe add to that question. Yes, please, please add on. Yeah. Yes, thank you, GP. Um, actually, to the weird fact was the creature was a lot of inspiration for me. So first was the Wendigo. Uh, the Wendigo was a creature that uh, collect young soul in the middle of the night. So as a photographer that collect young soul, because you know like the theory that when you take a photo, you collect the soul of somebody. So I thought like the Wendigo would be a great allegory to like put them together. The other thing is like, a, this is why actually we put the CGI effect in the eyes, yes. and you see the soul of people being trapped yes. in the Wendigo creature kind of form like. Uh, the second thing was, well, I am a big fan of real technical uh, effect in movies. So I love CGI for the magic effect, but I have a problem when it's about movement. So uh, I decided for my character, I had a really good friend and an amazing dancer at the uh, RC, uh, Redua. Hello, my love. And this guy is a contemporary dancer, so the movement of the beast is exactly him creeping for real would make it way more relatable. Yes. And the rest was prosthetic that a, a, an amazing designer did for me when I did the sketch, send it to her, and we had a team for like creating the Goodrum yeah. kind of black mm, thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that was amazing. I was the one who did it. That was great. I like yeah. to put stuff on people. And uh, I just like the fact that you see it a lot in the creature. Actually, in the movie, we had a lot of weird reference. Example, GP yeah. uh, had the blood idea that we don't know it's blood, but he makes the person a hallucinogen. Yeah. And it's... He's kind uh, of drinking this this red thing that is like, is it blood? Is he a vampire? Is he some... You know, right, because you don't... Because you see him yeah. drinking the flask, and then like the last time he drinks, that's when you see it. That's it. Yeah. So it was to kind of add like utter shells, like utter egg stuff. You know. Then again, vampire soul yeah. suck the soul. It's going back to like yeah. that idea of like creating the fantasy, but in reality, yeah. kind of aspect. Yeah. Mm. Okay. My last question. Um, I know you say you have personal experiences. So how long was like the time span uh, for from your personal experiences until making this this film? What what was the challenging part about doing that? Uh, well. I was 18 and now I'm 32, so that was the first uh, moment in my life that, uh, well, one man in particular, I had different weird experience, but that man that we talked actually was a colleague at yeah. GP and actually he did that to me when I was young, so when I wrote the first part of the scenario, when I sent it to him, it's like, oh my god, is of it course, him? is it him? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, Cause he is. He used to like rent my studio and, you know, try to do business with me and I, at the beginning, I was like, oh, I'll give this guy a second chance, you know, because I, I kind of knew about his history, but then I ended up 
figuring out that he was really fucked up. So um, I think what's interesting about this film is that the I and I put this story together that we both had different perspective of this person and just blended it in into this crazy character. And uh, that character actually came out from a, one of my real movies because this one was like a, an idea when GP offered me the opportunity to uh, because I, he had the technical team, I had the artistic team. This is why we're both directors. And I took that persona from one of my science fiction movies that I cannot create right now because it's going to cost a lot of money. But it was a, an important character that I profiled with other people that I know for creating the aesthetic and like the visual and what I wanted to say about him. And the idea was really like um, the narcissistic personality they deserve because like people that they are narcissistic, they can. It's funny because they look at themselves in the mirror all the time, but like a vampire, they don't see the reflection. So they don't know that they hurt others. They don't think they're wrong. They think they are gods, yeah. and it's not their fault. They're really sick. But because nobody tells them, nobody knows about them, nobody knows that they are maybe the prey of a narcissistic personality yeah. disorder. That's why the movie is there to show them that it is a real disease. Yeah. It is something that we should be concerned about and understand that those humans just need maybe like a good mirror or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, thank you. You guys are both brave for making this film yes. like this. I know you were taking a risk of getting the criticism, yeah. but you're like, something we has to it. be said. Yeah, I can tell with the, us, with the audience, you're like, yeah, come on. <laughs> Is what it is. Yeah, this is and what to it be is. honest, like we're from Canada, Montreal, so for us it's like something that happened there. A lot of people got called out like during Me Too and all that stuff. So for us it's like our reality, man. Like we put it on screen and and if people are shocked and it has an impact in, into their emotions, like that's what we wanted. So we're we're stoked that it's getting the reactions that it's getting and yeah. Yeah, actually and, it's um, just that. Like we want people to understand that it is we want to shock because without a shock reaction, well, like literally, I have tattooed under my armpit, I'm a beautiful disaster. But without callus, you cannot retire this order. And we need to shock so like people can take a reflection on it. And this is why it was important for us to create this that way. We make it that beautiful so people continue to watch it. That's why it's shocked because even they don't want to watch, they look at it. Yeah. Right. And that's what we wanted. Right. And uh, in Canada, I mean, it's it's interesting for us because it's, you know, we so far we've won f around 50 awards around the world with this film. Yeah, pretty much 50. So in festivals 50. everywhere, uh, Italy, everywhere in the world, even Lebanon, I'm half Lebanese, we went there and we won Best International Feature, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. So I'm just happy people are like reacting to it, good or not. And, and that we're here in California with you guys and thank you so much for having us at the Golden Gate International Film Festival. Thank you so it's much. It's a real pleasure yeah. to come and chill with you guys. Here. Yeah, and we appreciate you guys here. And like I said, they have many nominations for this film, so we wish the best of luck for them. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys later.